It all happens here. Dozens of ordinary people with extraordinary, unexpected talents. Sharing one goal to reach new heights in human achievement in the only record book that counts. Tonight, the most extreme Guinness World Record attempter yet, facing the most extreme challenge. This is what happens when you tell somebody they can't do something. The worst pain you could ever imagine. Wait till you see the cause. And what's gotten into them? Exclusive, never before seen. This is Guinness World Records Unleashed. Now, from the Guinness World Records Arena in Los Angeles, often imitated, never duplicated, your host, Dan Cortese. Welcome to Guinness World Records Unleashed. Yes, this is the place where you will see things you have never seen before. So I know, I know you are going to be blown away by what is about to be unleashed in this arena. All right, you guys all ready to rock some Guinness World Records, huh? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get this monster moving. And the ones to do it are right over there. Our Guinness World Records expert, Liz Smith, and her ward, Zach Selwyn. We're going to start off with the Guinness World Record for the most apples crushed in one minute with the biceps. This attempt requires real power in that muscle between the shoulder and elbow. But too much muscle can get in the way, making it harder to hold the apple in place. Of course, things can get slippery. Right, and it's a real balance of strength and technique. It takes 150 pounds of pressure to crush an apple. That much force could lead to broken bones. That's why you need core training. Fatigue will be a factor. And by the way, our attempter is a woman. OK, that's excellent. Let's meet this first female of Fuji. My name's Lindsay Lindbergh, and I'm from Austin, Texas. I am definitely the all-American girl. I always found that I was much stronger than all the other girls that I knew, but I didn't know quite how to use it yet. When I first started breaking apples, I only knew that I was special when I went to a barbecue with some friends of mine, and I was like, oh, you guys got to try this. And then everybody in the entire party ended up with bruises. <laughs> I know I'm pretty good at cracking apples, but I've never tried to do this many in one minute. So that's the intimidating part for me. Let's hear it for Lindsay Lindbergh. Come on out, Lindsay. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. Good to see you. How are you? Hi, great. Thanks. OK, so I, I love the fact I'm standing here next to a beautiful woman, and you are just going to take these apples and crush them with your bicep. That's exactly what I'm going to exactly do. exactly what she's going to do. <laughs> I want to see this. All right, how'd you like a Guinness World Record? Oh my God, I want one. That back. sounds great. Let's bring out Stuart Claxton right now. Stuart Claxton, the Guinness World Records adjudicator. He will judge the attempt and decide if a Guinness World Record has been broken. And I see he's raided Captain Crunch's closet. Miss Lindo. Yes. <laughs> You're about to attempt the Guinness World Record for the most apples crushed with the biceps in one minute. Now, the apples must be crushed individually, and the apple must also be crushed into at least two separate pieces. Now, to achieve the Guinness World Records title, you must crush at least six apples in one minute. Is that clear? Yeah. All right, if you are ready, we may begin the attempt. Yeah. All right, let's do this, Lindsay. Good luck. You got this. Name is Limburg. Three, two, one, go! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Dries it off, first one's gone, no problem at all. That one goes squirting out. Lindsay is allowed to use a towel to wipe the apple juice off her arm. She's gotta get those apple pieces off of there. That was an invaluable time. Oh! The pressure's there we go. Second one's down, she's really gonna dry that off. Just obliterates the third one. It's an apple annihilation. But not an easy one. She's putting her all into every single crush. Woo! Brute strength. Oh, that one goes flying, but there was a piece that came off, but that's going to be hard to call right there for sure. 
That one breaks into pieces. Got a few of them there. That smaller pieces came off, but it were two pieces. She is taking a lot of time wiping her arm, but she's really got no choice because those apples are slippery. She's a little over halfway through. Oh, she's tiring. Can she switch arms? Nope. She must use the same arm throughout. She's working hard on that one. Gets rid of that apple. Tries to dry off. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds. She got it. There she got it. There's another one. Wow. Can she get one more? Yes, she gets one more. Get one more. One more. One more. No. Oh, so close. That's here for you guys. That was awesome. I want to see that explode in slow motion. Zach and Liz, what do you got? There? It was amazing. You did it in heels, too. Yeah, Liz yeah, can't yeah. walk in high heels. Lindsay did show incredible power from the start. We noticed she spent a lot of time wiping off that juice. And as things had progressed, she held her arm much closer to the body. That gave her better leverage and compensated for the slippery juice. Stewart's been inspecting the apple chunks, and it looks like he's got the count. Stuart, before you give us the results, Lindsay wanted to freshen up a little bit. There was some apple. Oh, yeah, there's apple in my face, and there also ended up some apple. <laughs> ended up some apple. <laughs> oh, easy. OK. Easy. Whoa, Stuart cracks. Eat it, stew. Eat it, stew. Sell that on eBay later. Stuart, let's hear the official results, please. Thank you, Dan. Ms. Lindbergh yeah. just attempted the Guinness World Record for the most apples crushed with the biceps in one minute. To achieve the Guinness World Record title, you had to crush at least six apples. The number of apples that you successfully crushed in one minute was eight. Yeah! show, we've got a Guinness World Records legend doing something you've never seen. This man already holds three Guinness World Records, most consecutive 90-degree push-ups, most consecutive front flips and spring-loaded stilts, and the longest front flip over a vehicle on spring-loaded stilts. But nothing compares to what he's going to attempt here. And did we mention? He's half animal. My name is Jesus Half Animal Vila from Lake Elsinore, California. That's kind of the nickname that I grew up with. I guess for being outrageous, wild, you know, unleashed, like an animal, ju except just half. And what we're going to attempt can be very dangerous. And at any second, anything can go wrong. You have major arteries. You can literally bleed to death. This is as real as it gets. I mean, this is not no illusion. This is not no mind trick. I'm a professional half animal. It's difficult to talk about how I grew up because it um, wasn't like really the, the best, you know what I mean? Wasn't really accepted either. So I think at one point when I was given a chance, I made a promise to myself that I'll be the best. I want people in America to see that I'm willing to put myself out there to succeed. And that if I can do it, anyone else can do it. Soon we'll find out how Jesus Half Animal Vila will make Guinness World Records history. Whatever it is, we know it's gonna be big. They don't call him Half Animal for nothing. There is pain and there is pain, but there are few pains like the pain that comes with our next attempt. And you know what? We are going to enjoy watching it. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because at Guinness World Records Unleashed, we could be downright cold. That's right. Jack and Liz, tell them more about it. Okay. Ooh! Why? Zach, for once, has been brave enough to demonstrate what our next attempters are up against. He's experiencing all the symptoms of the dreaded brain freeze, uh -huh. uh, also known as sphenopalatine ganglion neuralgia. That's the sharp stabbing headache that occurs when one consumes an ice cold beverage or food too quickly. It happens when the cold substance hits the roof of the mouth, the blood vessels constrict, and the pain is transferred to the head. 
not really the brain at all. So why are you putting civilians through all this? Well, actually, we're going to be putting three people up to this. It's the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to drink one whole litre of a frozen beverage through a straw. That is worth it, people. That is worth it. Dan, take over, man. All right, let's bring these guys out here. Come on, you knuckleheads. Have a seat, gentlemen. Make yourself at home. Say hello to Andrew, Eric, and Giovanni. They're ready to do this. All right, Giovanni, I'll start with you. You're a college student? Yeah. Good luck, Eric. You're a school teacher. I am. Good luck to you as well. Andrew, you're a school bus driver, correct? Yeah. Well, here's what I'm saying. I got a student who wants to show you how it's done. I got a teacher who's going to tell you how it's done. And I got a school bus driver that wants to take you both to school. All right? What do you guys say? You ready to do this? Yeah. Go for a Guinness World Record? Let's do it. All right, good luck, gentlemen. Let's, go. Let's bring in Stuart Claxon. Stuart. Come on in, buddy. Meet the guys. Gentlemen. You're about to attempt the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to drink one litre of frozen beverage with a straw. When you have finished, please show me clearly that your mouth is empty, and only then will I stop the clock. OK, gentlemen, if you could please remove your straws from the plastic container and place them in your frozen beverage. Typically, the head pain strikes within 10 seconds and lasts about 20. Are you ready, gentlemen? Yes. OK, I will count you down. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. Giovanni quickly takes a standing position. Pace is crucial. They need to go quickly. But too much too fast means blinding pain. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Right on schedule. Eight seconds, nine seconds, ten. Brain freeze. Who'll get frozen out? And still ahead, hell on wheels, a smashing attempt. Then, all hands on deck for the craziest race you've ever seen. And later, what's eating this dude? All that, and you won't want to miss the most shocking event ever seen on Guinness World Records Unleashed. Brought to their knees by frozen drinks. Fighting for a Guinness World Record. Fastest time to drink a litre of frozen beverage through a straw. Each stricken by brain freeze. Already in pain. Oh, he's tempted to slap himself in the face. That pain has to be excruciating right now. Eric's trying to fight it off. So is Andrew at the end. Eric feels it in his eyes. Oh. Giovanni decides to take off the cap. But the clock is ticking. They're going to have to go into high gear right now. I'm trying to fight it off. I cannot even imagine the crowd getting into it now. This is just painful to watch. Giovanni trying to knock the pain out of his eyes. Each competitor fighting it off, but still going back for more. Andrew's starting to look like a vacuum down there at the end. Giovanni deciding to eat some of the ice right now. Giovanni going for the scoop technique. And that is allowed as per Guinness World Records guidelines. Oh, and he's fighting off the pain. Eric is right on his heels. Giovanni trying to finish strong. Oh, and Eric going with the swirl. He's going with the vacuum in the middle. He's giving too close to call. The crowd loving every second of it. It's up to Stewart's discretion when these cups are empty. The pain no longer a factor. These guys fighting for a Guinness World Record right here. Eric and Andrew nip and tuck. Giovanni coming in. Okay. He's done. Here comes Giovanni. You got to finish up. Shoveling in the last bit. Stewart, do you not have a heart, Stewart? Not yet. Not yet. It's out of there. Yeah, let's hear it for him, guys. Okay, Stewart's got to check the watch. Giovanni, how are you? I still have a brain freeze. You still have the brain freeze? <laughs> okay, I want to see some of the brain freeze in slow-mo. What do you guys have over there for it? Yeah, that was a really interesting attempt because the brain freeze almost set in at exactly the same time for all three of them. As predicted, it struck right around the 10-second mark. Some doctors say you can stop the pain by pressing your tongue against the roof of the mouth, 
or tilting your head back for 15 seconds. But with the clock ticking, they did not have that luxury. In the end, that scoop technique did give Giovanni a break, but it cost him valuable time. You guys want to finish this one? Sure. OK, gentlemen, we've just attempted the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to drink one litre of frozen beverage with a straw. To achieve the Guinness World Record title, you had to drink the frozen beverage in one minute and 30 seconds. Now, I shall reveal your times in reverse order, if I may. OK. Mr. Dussereau? Your time was seven minutes and 43 seconds. Ooh. Mr. Womack, you recorded a time of six minutes, 58 seconds. Mr. Valenzuela, your time was six minutes, 36 seconds. Unfortunately, today, no Guinness World Record, but a very valiant effort nonetheless. So thank you for coming. Good job, guys. One more time. One more time. Don't be mean. Well, no. no, I'm not allowing no, like that. That's no. a thought. Uh... <laughs> one man, one wheel, one tube. One shot at a Guinness World Record. Are you guys ready for this one? Well, the connection is, of course, obvious, uh, assuming that you've memorized the Guinness World Records book. I can't read this. Doesn't surprise me. This one is the Guinness World Record for the most targets hit with a blow tube on a unicycle in one minute. Of course, because when you're on a unicycle, how else are you going to pass the time? Exactly. This attempt was tailored specifically to combine technical proficiency, skill, and concentration. It's hard enough to aim a projectile that's blown from a tube, but doing it while balancing and pedaling a single track vehicle. Let's see if that's even possible. So he's got to shoot while pedaling. Yes. Wow. All right, let's meet this guy who knows where there's a wheel, there's a way. My name is Steven Skrobarczyk, and I am from Corpus Christi, Texas. I like riding my unicycle around because it's different, and it, it kind of turns the world into a playground. One of my college buddies came over one day and was just like, hey, we're going to make a bunch of blow tubes and shoot targets with them. So we built blow tubes from scratch. And I had so much fun that one day I just started shooting the targets with the blow tube while I was riding the unicycle and thought, hey, maybe I might be the best at this. I guess you could say I pull all the ladies riding the unicycle, you know. How could you resist? No. <laughs> all right, let's hear for Steve Skrbarczyk. Come on up, Steve. That's how you make an entrance right there. Welcome. All right, first thing I want to know, how long have you been riding a unicycle? About nine years. OK, nine years. Do you do this quite often? I've been practicing a lot, yes. Yeah, and how are you, are you feeling confident? Yes. OK, well, look, I'm feeling confident. I know they're feeling confident for you. Ready to go for a Guinness World Record? Yes. Great, Steve, let's bring out Stuart Claxton. Come on out, Stuart. Stuart. Please, go ahead. <clears throat> Mr. Skrbacek. You're about to attempt the Guinness World Record for the most blow tube targets hit while riding a unicycle in one minute. The unicycle must be in motion at all times, and each target must be struck only once. Okay. To achieve this Guinness World Record title, you must hit at least 10 targets in one minute. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. You got this, Steve. Good luck, buddy. Just because of the obvious nature of this type of Guinness World Record attempt, we are going to ask the audience to actually step away from this space for safety reasons. So, everyone move back, please. Notice that yellow and black line. That's five meters from the target, 16.4 feet. Steven must not roll over the line. What's he shooting anyway? Hard projectiles, similar to ball bearings. Three, two, one, go! Mostly. Right at us, he breaks the first one. Thank God for the plex, or else Stewart get down right now. Takes out number two. Stays behind the line. Ooh, that one was close. Notice he's got to twist and constantly adjust his center of balance. 
then almost stopped to be shot. Tricky. He is grinning from ear to ear. Takes out another one. The scribar chick kid is in Frank out. Oh, off the plexi, almost cracks the plexi. First miss of the day. There's another miss. Stuart and I trying to stay as still as possible. Uh, he's got to stay behind that line. 30 seconds. He's at 30 seconds. He's taken out five. He's taken out six. That wheel's got to remain in motion. He's out seven. Still behind the line. Oh, he needed that one right there. This is going to go down to the wire. Oh, he needs to, he needs to finish out strong right here. He's probably going to have to go pure. He hits one. Ten seconds left. Oh, he needs it. He's got to finish. He needs two more. Stay behind that line. He's got it. Can he get one more in there in time? He needs one more. He takes it out. Hangs up. We're going to have to check the red light there like they do at the NBA after they make a last-second shot. I don't know if that one's going to count. Let's hear it for Steve. Come on. That was incredible. All right, Stewart's going to go back, and he's going to check a few things here. I want to see some of that in slow-mo. What do you guys got? Yeah, Chris has said, Dan, there's so much to think about in our record, you know, balancing on the unicycle for the entire time, making sure that you didn't cross that line, making sure you had the position to hit the target. It looks like he smashed it, but will Stewart have the same verdict? Yeah, yeah, stop. There. Did Steven blow it? Also coming up, they stoop to conquer a Guinness World Record. Then, try to guess why he's here. And later, a command performance by a three-time Guinness World Record holder. Half man, half animal, all champion. Steven Skrobarczyk has just attempted the Guinness World Record for, get this, hitting targets with a blow tube on a unicycle. He needs 10 hits to set a new Guinness World Record. And Stuart Claxton is spending a long time studying the video replay. Stop. Two big issues. If Steven crossed the five meter line, some hits may not count. And the 10th deciding hit was right on the buzzer. Okay, Stuart is coming back and I can't tell if he's smiling. He doesn't smile much. Mr. Skrobarczyk, you just attempted the Guinness World Record for the most blow tube targets hit while riding a unicycle in one minute. Now, one of the important factors that I have just reviewed is that while you were firing, you did not cross the line which determined the minimum distance you could be firing from. Mr. Skrobarczyk, to achieve this Guinness World Record, you had to hit at least 10 targets in one minute. The number of targets you hit is 10. Yeah! Just made it. We needed 10 for this new Guinness World Record, and he hit the number exactly. Nice one. Congrats, man. How do you feel right now? Awesome. I'm wheeling out of here with a Guinness World Record. Unicycles and blow tubes. After that, you'd think anything can be a Guinness World Record. Yes, but as you know, you'd be wrong. So this is actually a good time to point out that most attempt proposals are rejected, even some of the most popular. We receive thousands of Guinness World Records proposals each month. And rather too often, people, or actually, should I say, males, propose themselves as attempters for this one. Oh, cool. I used to do... I mean, I've, I've seen people do that, firing Roman candles from their butts. This was rejected, and for good reason. One must be able to replicate a Guinness World Record anywhere in the world. Roman candles aren't actually widely available. Also, the consequences of this attempt are far too unpredictable. And it's impossible to standardize the um, um, launching pad. Say no more. I get it. And there's still a question about what's coming up a little later. The holder of three Guinness World Records, Jesus Half Animal Vila, will go for number four. So, Liz, what is it? Mr. Half Animal Vila will attempt to jump through glass. Ten panes of tempered glass. Jump through from mini trampolines. And he'll crash through them? He'll rely on the power from each leap to make it through 10 times. Oh! 
Can he even do it? Hey, you know what? He's half animal. How could he miss? We'll be checking back. We've got a group of people that are going to get down and dirty to chase the Guinness World Record. Zach and Liz, tell us more. Well, Dan, from my viewpoint, it looks like a race. Yes, it does, but this is no foot race. Five attempts to challenge the Guinness World Record for the fastest 100 meters on all fours. Oh, okay, so they're going to get in doggies in the style of a dog. Uh, in theory, yes, but the current record holder actually conjures up a different animal. The Guinness World Record was set in 2012 by Kenichi Ito, also known as the Monkey Man. He finished in 17.4 seconds. Hey, we've got a half animal about to jump through glass, so bring on the monkey man. Humans are bipeds. In order for us to run efficiently on all fours, we need much longer arms. So this is a race that takes real strength and adaptation. Arm power is just as important as leg muscles, and coordination is key. Let's meet a field of racers who are all ready to run wild. All right, you guys, let's hear it for Vinicius, Olivia, Hunter, and Mike. Give it up. How you guys doing? Good. Vinicius, I want to start with you. 100 meters on all fours. Have you trained at all for it? Well, since I was born, like since, since, I was, since birth. <laughs> since I was six months, I was already doing the bird crew. Okay. And all, that, so. all right. Well, that sounds good. Olivia, now you did you run track? I was a heptathlete, so I did a little bit of everything: throwing, jumping, running, hurdling, sprinting, distance. So you're basically telling the guys they better watch out. Right? Better watch. It. That's what I like to hear. Now, Hunter. Were you a QB? What was the deal there? Uh, I've always had an athletic background. Predicting a victory? I'm predicting a good chance. OK, there you go. Now, um, and finally, Mike, you're a model. So all we're worried about is that you just look pretty while you go down there. Well, no, no, no. I'm actually an MMA Krav Maga specialist. There we go. I'm yeah. just going to take a step back right now. I, I was just kidding, Mike. Yeah, uh -huh. I was just kidding with the whole model thing. <laughs> so you guys ready to get after this? Go for a Guinness World Record? All right, I want to bring in Stuart Claxton. Come on in, Stuart. Stuart is our resident MMA specialist as well. Thank you, Dan. Ladies and gents, you are about to attempt the Guinness World Record for the fastest 100 meters on all fours. Now, you must, of course, cover the entire course on all fours. And it's very important that you alternate between hands and feet throughout the attempt. The Guinness World Record to break stands at 17.47 seconds. Are you ready? Yeah. Then let's begin. All right, good luck, you guys. I'm really surprised that only two attempters have gloves to protect their hands. I just thought they were fancy. The real hazard is to the feet. The all fours position puts severe strain on the Achilles tendon. I will count you down. Three, two, one. Go. Mike starts standing and takes. Oh, he's out of his lane and he goes down. Not really quite. Hey, he loses a shoe. Mike loses a shoe. Hunter's got a very fluid style. Floating down the track. Vinicius coming up in lane one. Could he take the ex-football player? Vinicius showing good form. Born to run on all fours. But Hunter's taking big strides. Vinicius, it's a brutal finish. Will anyone beat the monkey man? And still to come, we'll see why he's feeling boxed in. And later, Will a Guinness World Records attempt go too far? <gasps> Stay tuned. Four people racing on all four. Going for a Guinness World Record. Vinicius coming up in lane one. Could he take the ex-football player? Vinicius, it's a brutal finish. He's coming in for Brazil. How's it going to be? He does a front roll. Olivia, bring up the rear. It's over. Now that was different. And for the most part, impressive. Hunter found his rhythm with a style that was really quite unique. He relied solely on his feet. He brushed his hands on the track. And that does meet Guinness World Record standards. Olivia had good form, but couldn't keep up with the pack. Mike, the model, well, once he lost his shoe, he uh, lost his momentum. Vinicius, though, was all momentum at the end and showed the best form. But Hunter's forward roll may have sealed a victory. But did it seal a Guinness World Record? OK, you just attempted the Guinness World Record for the fastest 100 metres on all fours. In first place, Mr. Cloudus. Time to break was 17.47 seconds. 
your time in first position was 27.72 seconds. Get us your record. Good effort anyway. Well done. We'll be back to try this again. Get us your record. record. Hey, let's check in on our main event. We've had concerns about Jesus Half Animal Vila and his attempt to jump through 10 panes of tempered glass. But shortly after his unsuccessful try, he showed us just what he's capable of achieving. Bam! Like a superhero. Mr. Half Animal Vila is outside now. The glass and trampolines are all set up, and he'll be going for this first time Guinness World Record attempt very soon. This is what happens when you tell somebody they can't do something. Oh, he's gonna put the hurt on those panes of glass. Let's hope so. I can't wait. I got this little box. It's dimensions 20 by 20 by 17 and a half. Now, I bet you're wondering how this little box is gonna fit into a Guinness World Record attempt. Well, I'll tell you what, Zach and Liz up there in their little box, they're gonna fill us in. Guys? Well, Dan, it's not a matter of how the box fits in, it's a matter of what can fit into the box. Or should I say, who? Better not be looking at me. It's the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to cram into a box. That little box. That little box. That is a tiny little box. It is, and actually there's a twist with this Guinness World Records attempt. Previously, it's only ever been attempted by a woman, but today our attempter is a man. Nice. Nice. He'll have to get into that box in under nine seconds and shut the lid. The clock stops when the box is closed. It's all about flexibility and agility, and of course, speed. Wow, I'm looking forward to meeting this person who really knows how to cram for the big test. My name is Master Yogi Laser, and I am from Montserrat the Emerald Isle of the Caribbean. Well, I enjoy yoga because it gives me enlightenment. It's a very deep spiritual vibration. I've been getting inside this box for over 15 years of my life. I call it my home. Now, this can be very dangerous because I'm putting pressure on my entire body. My heart, all my organs are under pressure. You know, it's dangerous, but hey, without danger, there's nothing. All right, let's bring out Master Yogi Laser. Come on out. How you doing? Doing good. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, brother. Yes, man, yes, man. <laughs> I want to know this. You are going to break this Guinness World Record, aren't I you? I am going to break this Guinness World Record. That's what I like to hear. Stuart Claxton, come on out. Stuart's going to give you the official rules, and then you're going to do it. All right. Mr. Yogi Laser. Yeah. You're about to attempt the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to cram into a box. So it's yeah. quite clear what you have to do. You must cram your entire body inside this box and close the lid. And to achieve the Guinness World Record title, you must do this in under nine seconds. No problem. All right. Are you ready, sir? Yeah, I'm ready, but first, I gotta activate my chi and calm my mind and body. Uniting spirit, body, and mind together as one. You may get ready for the attempt. What happens next? And prepare yourself for the most unexpected ending ever. Back in the Guinness World Records arena as Yogi Laser is about to cram his entire body into a teeny tiny little box. Right now, he's preparing. Activating his chi. Mr. 
Mr. Yogi Lasa. Three, two, one, go. He's already in. He's got his foot caught. Stuart Stanley checking. It's Lance. It's Lance. He's gone. How many ribs are you missing? I gave two to my wife. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Stuart is, is here with the final results. So, Stuart, please go ahead. Mr. Yogi Laser, you just attempted the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to cram into a box. To achieve the Guinness World Record title, you had to do this in under nine seconds. Mr. Yogi Laser. You crammed yourself into this box with a time of five point three five. Yes! Get his trophy. Get a trophy right there. Well, I just want to say, I do this not only for me but for you beautiful people right here and the entire universe. <laughs> and Master Yogi Leza, I am amazing. Jesus Half Animal Vila is about to jump into Guinness World Records history. Let's go outside. Take it, Dan. All right, I'm here with Jesus Half Animal Vila. What's up, brother? How are you going? How's it going? I, you know what? I am so excited for this. Well, this is not your usual world record. Half animal. At what point in this do you become full animal? You know what? I think towards the end. Yeah, towards the <laughs> when end. I'm, when, when I'm going to make it all the way around, yeah. You know, the animal's kind of like a, my sixth sense. It kind of just takes over, so it'll probably just come on like a light. So what, what's going to be going through your mind right before you start there? I'm going to be thinking about everything I've ever done in my life. Yeah. Everything I want in my life. Yeah. And everything that it's going to take to get what I want in my life, and that's breaking through these panels of glass. And getting a Guinness World Record? I mean, if you want to succeed, it's like shattering 10 panes of tempered glass. You ready to do this? I'm ready to do that this. That animal's ready. I want to bring in Stuart Claxton right now. Stuart, come on in. Stuart's going to give you all the official rules, awesome. everything you need to know. Mr. Jesus Half Animal Villa. Yes, sir. You are about to attempt the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to jump through 10 panes of tempered glass. Yes, sir. Now, you may only break each pane with the weight of your body. Correct. And you can only move on to the next pane after the previous pane has been jumped through successfully. Understood. Now, to achieve the Guinness World Record title, you must jump through all 10 panes in under four minutes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Then let's begin. You got this, brother. Good luck. Gentlemen, this ain't no illusion. Rock and roll. Woo! Half animal. Unleash. Go, half animal. Okay, Mr. Villa. I will start the clock when you start running. You may begin your attempt. Trying to break his way into Guinness World Record history. He's off for the first painted glass. We're outside the Guinness World Records arena where Jesus Half Animal Vila is about to do what no one has ever done before. Attempting the Guinness World Record for the fastest time to jump through 10 panes of tempered glass. Jesus Half Animal Vila already holds three Guinness World Records, but this one is by far the most extreme. Trying to break his way into Guinness World Record history. And there he goes. And he's off for the first pane of glass. Hits the train. Hits it hard, but he breaks.
and he's not getting up. Is he okay? He's down. He's down. Here come the medics. How about your fingers? Can you move your fingers? Okay. Anything else? Any tingling anywhere? No. The good news is he's moving his hands, he's moving his feet, and uh, we want what's best for Jesus Half Animal Villa. Uh, Zach and Liz, back to you guys. How did it look from your angle? From this angle, it looked like he had the speed on the approach. He had the height, but apparently not enough velocity on the jump. We see he does hit the glass with his fist and head, but is knocked back just before the glass shatters. Look, he's given a thumbs up. It does appear that Jesus Half Animal Vila will be okay. Jesus Half Animal Vila did indeed give all his human capability in his quest for Guinness World Records glory. We hope he's okay, but you know what? He was going for a Guinness World Record. It's not easy, is it, Stuart? No, it never is. Part of a champion, Betty's back. What do you say? Certainly. Certainly. We look forward to helping you back. Guinness World Records unleashed. See you next time.